this is Borna from Borna.tv and um, it's getting close to the release of Mac OS X Lever. Um, Apple should be coming out with an official release date any time now. Um, the last, the last uh, update from them was that it was going to be released in October. Now here it is October, about mid-October, and some people are predicting October 26th. Um, other people are predicting October 20th. The reason for this video is um, I want to talk a little bit about you know some of the new things in Leopard and why it's so attractive. Uh, one of the things that that really stands out to me and uh, that I'm looking forward to is the new revamped Finder. Finder is has been in Mac OS since pretty much day one of Apple. Um, it's essentially the Windows equivalent. Uh, it's the Windows Explorer equivalent. So you can browse your files and folders and things like that. The problem with the current Finder is that it's broken in so many ways. The interface is not consistent. Certain things just don't work the way they should. And um, it can be improved in so many ways, to make a long story short. Right now, I use Pathfinder for uh, for Mac OS 10.4 uh, Tiger. And um, Leopard's gonna improve Finders from what, I'm, from what I'm seeing in screenshots and reading on certain sites. The other thing is a feature called Time Machine, which is an automatic kind of a incremental backup system, if you will. For your uh, for your Macintosh, so what that means is that Mac OS 10.5 Leopard is going to automatically back up files file types you specify, and you can use the Time Machine feature to go back in time and look at previous revisions. I think some people have likened it to a subversion uh, for file systems, essentially. So you're going to have revised copies of files and time machine the time machine feature is going to be able to go back and look at those older revisions so the use case is well I had this document I modified it a few times but I want to go back a few revisions how do I do that without going to a backup drive or USB drive I go to the time machine and time machine gives you this really slick interface which shows you the document at that particular time as you're moving back in time so that's going to be a really nice feature kind of scary a little bit because um it's gonna be a lot of things happening at the file system level and if they really mess something up it could really corrupt your file so i'm a little a little scared but at the same time excited at the same time uh other new features there are some improvements to the mail application um not substantial you know they got stationaries and now they have uh i think notes but that's not going to be huge. I think the bug fixes and their interface changes are going to be the main thing. Um, the other thing is spaces. And I think um, as a Unix user myself, I'm used to pagers and the virtual desktops. But I think spaces takes it a step further. It has more of an expose feel for desktops. Um, I, I'm not one of those people who say, oh, we've had virtual desktops and pagers forever. Spaces is nothing new. I really don't look at things from Apple as being innovative or in, in, in the sense of being brand new that we've never seen it before. I'm looking at how useful it could be to my everyday use, my everyday use and the things I do. Spaces, I think it's going to be very, very useful. Unfortunately, <laughs> for most people with very small amounts of RAM, you're probably going to want to upgrade because you're going to be able to get more work done uh, in a shorter amount of time. You're going to have a lot of applications open and a lot of full screen applications like Photoshop, Pixelmator and all these these image editors as well as you know like iPhoto and if you have Aperture or you have Lightroom, you know, you can have these open full screen on their own space per se. Um, when I had pagers on on the Unix, I would have one for uh, work, I would have one for email, one for surfing. But, you know, the way they got it laid out, it may just be photos, pictures, uh, email, 
maybe an Accelera space. I don't know. I got to play with it. I, I got to see how they laid it out. But these are just some of the features of Mac OS 10.5 Leopard, along with the stability improvements. And if history repeats itself, Apple, the, the new versions of OS 10 that come out tend to run faster than the previous revisions on older hardware. Now there's been a rumor that G4 machines are no longer going to be included in the support, part supported hardware. So maybe they're going to draw the line. Maybe they did a lot of graphical or core video or core audio improvements that the 800 megahertz G4s can't handle. I believe if you have greater than 800 megahertz, you'll be fine. That's just a rumor at this point. Okay, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and hopefully Leopard will be out soon in October, and uh, I can't wait.